Hi there, this is Jack from Technology with Intention showing off a new version of Google Earth that was released on March 19th. This is version 6.2 and according to iTunes it works on the iPhone, iPod Touch and on any iPad that runs iOS 3.0 or later. Google Earth looks much like it always has. The feature I'm most excited about is the ability to add KMZ or KML files. There's two ways to do this. So a KML or KMZ file is one that is saved by Google Earth or Google Maps. It allows you to put place marks on a map and add text and images and other media. So here's an example of a place marker that I made in Google Maps. How did I get the KML file in here? You now have the ability to link Google Earth to your Google account. So here at the bottom I have My Maps and in there you can see all of my maps and I've got this KMZ test open right now. So you've seen London, here's a photo embedded along with some text. I have another example down here in Timbuktu and here I've got some more text and also a link, check this out. When you click on the link it opens right in Google Earth. One other place I'd like to show you is Everest here at Mount Everest I went and tried to embed a video and it did not work. So embedding a video in Google Maps requires using the old embed code which is flash based and as we know flash does not play on the iPad unless you're using Rover or some other third party service. It's worth taking a look at the capabilities of this new version of Google Earth. I can zoom in and I can actually change the angle at which I'm looking. So here I'm linked to my maps, but you can also get this information into Google Earth via email or any link, and here's an example of that sent myself an email here with a KMZ file and I can go ahead and open in Google Earth and it'll take me in theory to the Privloff Islands off Alaska here we go so for testing purposes I created this document in Google Earth and included a video using iframe which Apple does support um, but as you can see here, it is not working. So here's the same KMZ file in Google Earth on my computer. And when I click here, you can see the iframe video plays no problem. So that's two options for getting specific points into an iPad. Maybe your students are using one of Jerome Berg's lit trips or creating their own. It seems like at this point, creation is still best left for a desktop or laptop computer.